What is up YouTube? This is Alex AK Foreign. In my previous videos I promised to talk about making custom fan curves. So a custom fan curve will be able to fix a lot of your temperature problems with graphics card out of the box. That means that if a graphics card is pretty hot out of the box, a custom fan curve will be able to help you find that balance between the temperature and the noise levels that you can tolerate. So to make a custom fan curve, we'll be using MSI Afterburner. To do that, we just type MSI Afterburner into Google, go to the first link, go to downloads and download MSI Afterburner. Together with MSI Afterburner, you'll be getting a cool thing called Riva Tuner Statistics Server, which basically allows you to see these GPU and CPU parameters on your screen while gaming, which a lot of tech people like to use. But we'll be using MSI Afterburner, the main app here, so you may have a different skin, but you will have settings and uh, this fan speed thing either way. Now, first of all, we'll go to settings, monitoring and uh, make sure we see GPU temperature and fan speed. So press these uh, ticks here and in OSD means in on-screen display. So with Riva Tuner Statistics, you will be able to see these uh, parameters at the top of your screen in a game or in any application to that matter. So temperature and fan speed is what we need, but basically their GPU usage, core clock, memory usage, frame rate, CPU temperature, and other things. I'm using basically these that you see here. All right, so here's the hardware monitor. And as you can see, my GPU is running at 51C right now because I'm recording and I have an R9-290X, which is a pretty much uh, known power hog. The GPU usage has spikes because I'm recording again. The fan speed is currently at 30C. We'll talk about that right away. The core clock is 350, 70, memory usage, frame rate 30, and uh, CPU temperature is close to 70 because I'm recording at 1080p which is very taxing on my i5-4590. Right, let's go to settings, fan, and press this enable user-defined software automatic fan control. And you will see some kind of curve. So first of all, make sure that you don't see this because this means that the fan speed is constant and it changes in jumps. That can lead to very severe noise changes and I personally don't like it. it. You can try it out but I wouldn't suggest that. So double clicking on these gray dots changes the type of the curve and depending on the graphics card that you have you can change this curve. As I don't have the zero decibel tech that most popular GPUs nowadays use I have to control the idle noise levels of my graphics card. So until it reaches 50C the fan speed stays below 30%. Usually my GPU sits at around 29. So right now it's at 50 and the fan speed is 30 as well. But when I go over 50, usually means that I'm gaming. So the fan speed goes up as well, up to 65C where it reaches 50% fan speed. When it goes over that, that means that I'm usually playing pretty uh, graphically intensive game. The temperatures that I am okay with tolerating on my graphics card is 75C and the noise level that I'm okay with tolerating is 70% of the fan speed. So that means that this is the maximum that my card could reach based on my preferences and needs. So it sometimes goes to 76, maybe 77, but it then immediately goes down to 75C with 70% fan speed. So depending on the graphics card that you have, you may play around with this. There's also this fan speed part and uh, you can see some kind of auto button that may have a green light you press that and it will turn gray and you will be able to move this thing around. So if we put 50, enter, and then if you only press enter, it won't apply. You have to press apply. The fan speed on my graphics card went up right away. If I press 75C, enter apply, it goes even more. You may even actually hear it, but okay. Definitely play around with this. You should find the maximum fan speed that you can tolerate. For me, it's 75%. For some people, it may be 70, 65, 60, whatever. Now, depending on the graphics card that you have, you can change this curve. So if you have a Maxwell or a Pascal card, then horizontally, the graph will change. It will go lower because those cards are extremely power efficient. So a GTX 1060 won't need as much fan speed to stay under 70C and you should definitely play around with that yourself. So you can uh, set up a custom fan curve. I'm using Speccy to monitor my temperatures and stuff. 
you can use that as well. Just Google Puriform Specky and download it if you're interested and set up a custom fan curve, then play a game and check your temperatures. If you're okay with the temperatures, if you're okay with the noise, then you can keep this fan curve. If you're not okay, play around with it some more. All right, I thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. As for my future videos, I'm currently working on the Witch GTX 1060 to choose, and I may be updating the Witch uh, 1070 and 1080 to choose with extra information in the future as well. I thank you for your attention and hope to see you later.